Okay, so this is my first time ever doing anything like this. Um, as you can see, I've got Game Maker 2 up. I've done a couple of things already, and I'm going to go over what I've done and show you everything that I've accomplished. Let's, uh, as you can see, I already have my little car. I'm working on a little racing prototype game. But if I go to Instances car I'm gonna delete that and show you my initial thing. So these cars are just I just drew them up real quick, super simple. But um as you can see I made two cars here. I got a car to the right and a car up. I started with Game Maker's little tutorials that they do. Um and I made the car game and I kind of wanted to make my own car game, a racing game. So I pulled out this car, I put in some lines of code, let's see that. Let's see, is it pulling it up? There we go. So as you can see, I put in simple moves. Um, for this one because it's going left and negative move speed I set the sprite to car right and then I set the scale so that it was negative so it was horizontal and you can see that I did this for all of them really simple um, at the time I did not realize that you can let me go to the sprite it's so move this this is a really important thing to move. So let me show you what I have right now with this car. Let's go to my room. Got my car in there. Let's play. And as you can see, my car moves kind of funky. Beautiful. I haven't put... This is as far as I've got with this car. But you can see I'm hitting WASD and it's being kind of funky. So. What I did not realize at the beginning was that if you go to the sprite, you can change the origin or where your car turns from. So that's about center. It's not perfectly center on the car or about where I would want the car to turn from. So with that, let me go to the other one. Let me go to this other and move that origin as well to about there. And now let's play. Now it should be a little bit less funky. So it still doesn't quite, when you go up and down here, it doesn't turn at all. And that's some code that I could work on, but now at least it's turning. And it's at generally the same location, so it's not as funky. Okay, but that was my first. I kind of scrapped that. It was not the greatest, and I wanted more uh, smooth turning, not that jerky left, right, up, down kind of turn. So I created car two, and I looked online to a couple of uh, YouTube tutorials. They were all in older versions of Game Maker 2. And none of them were this kind of simple. It was all lines of code versus this simple, uh, I forgot what it's called. But as you can see, I created an alarm event for something that I've um, been working on for drifting. Uh, no, not for drifting, for the power up. But I know. All my code, my names and stuff are kind of wonky, but but basically, um, I went through the video and I had to translate it from regular coding. I don't know if this program uses C plus plus or C plus or C sharp or any of that. I don't know what it uses, but I had to translate it from that to this, which was pretty simple. So here you see if my speed 
is uh, not greater than idle, which is in the create tab here. Idle, idle is zero. If my speed is greater than idle, this is turning left, then I'm gonna change the, the direction can be as the turn speed and then the image angle is the same as the turn speed. And then this is for drifting, uh, which I haven't quite got yet and I'm working on, but it's recognizing if I press space while the A key is down, then uh, my sprite will change from my regular car, which is this one, to over here, you can see sprite A, which is this diagonal. And then I have it also for D, or let's see, forward. I couldn't figure out backwards. But for forwards, if the speed is less than the max speed, then we're going to add some motion to it in the direction that it's facing and then the speed we're going to add is acceleration speed and that kind of multiplies up until it hits max speed and then it stops and then if the speed is greater than idle which is not moving at all then we're going to add the deceleration speed which is the friction so with that this is that's been happening I don't want that to happen. Let's delete that and let's put in our other car. This is what I have so far. So as you can see, the turning is smooth. These power-ups, I actually have put collision in them and I can pick them up, but they will make me go twice as fast as you can see. And there is no time limit and it will double my speed every single time and then i also have drifting which currently it shrinks down my turn and i'm not sure how to remove that effect so now my turn is going to be just as small as drifting even when i'm not drifting so still a lot to learn but this is my first steps in making this and i would like to uh, maybe upload some quick uh, little time-lapse videos. I don't know what that is. Uh, but quick little time-lapse videos where I show my progress in this. So that is that.